You got my fucking money? Huh? You got my fucking money? You got my fucking money! Hello, how are you guys doing today? My name is Adama, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a post-commentated Pokemon Oras battle for you. This time against me, Psych. It's Robert Greenfield, otherwise known as Buzz Lightyear HD. You people and your different names and your different places, how am I supposed to know who you are exactly? Come on, go easy on me. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, folks, there'll be a question of the day at the end of this video I'll remind you ah, saliva is a thing you know that the like button is a thing that exists you can make your decisions about what to do with it at the end of the video or you could be a complete and utter rebel and massage that like button right now I completely would not mind in fact I would cherish that I would embrace it I would be stimulated by it anyway ladies and gentlemen this is a match in the NU tier uh, this is a team that I was using based on the sole principle of, like, uh, using things I'd never used before. This is a terrible idea. Mmm, terrible idea. Not because you shouldn't use things that you haven't used before. Absolutely use things you haven't used before. But make synergy <laughs> when you do that. Make synergy when you do that. Uh, I have a very distinct lack of special attackers on this team. A very distinct lack of coverage, too. But regardless... I did have a lot of fun using it, and it was super. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, get comfy, grab a snack. You're about to watch an anime video, so let's hit play, and you'll see precisely what I saw. I'd like to preface this by saying Rob Y, because he's named a bunch of his Pokemon after, um, after my crew, I suppose. Uh, he's named like a bunch of them, Katie and Ellis and, and Sal and, and Philip and stuff in it and Andre. Oh my god, why? And it made this battle difficult because I don't want to punch these guys in the face. So what the fuck, Rob? Anyway, <laughs> um, I do decide to deal with Zeratul because Zeratul has the least crap matchup against everything on his team. And I went for the knockoff just to get rid of this Toad's passive recovery. So I do switch out into my Gore guys because I can handle this thing easily enough. Unfortunately, I do get Toxic Poisoned and this really, really, really sucks. I valiantly and bravely decide to go for a Will-O-Wisp because it would be super nice to burn the frog. But Andre comes out and just reflects my shit and I'm like, Andre, what are you doing here? I don't want to hit you, Andre. What the hell, man? So I'm going to switch out and go into the map, um, who is just a gear in the system. Because I thought I can take an air slash or like a or like a psychic or like a whatever and that would be great. But he has heat wave. I forgot Exatu could even have heat wave. This is an exercise in me forgetting Exatu exists and what Exatu even does. And this is an even worse decision. I switch into Zeratul and get U-turn four times super effective. U-turn to the face. Holy shit. Really bad. So I started all of this on the wrong foot wrong everything. I didn't even start it with my foot, I started it with my, like, face. Which is honestly not good, so... Yeah, out comes Sal! Sal, why you got it? I don't want to hit you either, Sal. God damn it, so... Sal is gonna Mega Evolve, which is crazy. I didn't know you could do that, Sal. And we're gonna go for the Super Power and start building up our stats. We are actually a max HP, max special defense Malamar, courtesy of the Skyrander. Go and check out his channel, guys. He is a babe. And this thing is meant to just take hits and get really buff with superpower and stuff and start blowing holes in the opposition's team. But he is going to miss a fire blast. What is it with Rob's like fire moves not, <laughs> not making contact right now? But ultimately, his misses aren't really going to matter because um, the hack balances itself out. Let's just put it that way. So out comes Kiss Me. And I'm going to go for the superpower because I think, oh, I'm just going to keep on smacking this thing. He could go for Scald and maybe get a burn, but that is a 1 in 3 chance, so he does have to get a bit lucky uh, for that to happen. And so I was feeling pretty okay, but no! <laughs> the Hax does indeed balance itself out because Zerathul is going to get burnt. And um, yes, that definitely halts the sweep there and then. So <laughs> I went for the Psycho Cut out of Paranoia. Um, that I wouldn't be able to kill with superpower for whatever reason, I don't bloody know why. Anyway, and either way, out comes Philip, who goes for the Mark Punch, not over-predicting, just to finish me off. I was kind of hoping that he would over-predict, 
um, and go for like a drain punch or something. That way I could get a very burnt psycho cut off on him. But it would still be like plus four or something ridiculous. So we're going to go into Uncle Larry and go for the rapid spin. And Uncle Larry in his old age isn't quite what he used to be. So he's going to take this drain punch to the face. It's not going to do too much. But I mean, it did loads. <laughs> we are actually an offensive Armaldo, so it does make sense. And he's going to withdraw. And I actually went for the Rock Blast. I don't know why I had the feeling that he was going to switch out. I'm not really... I mean, I was thinking about going for Stealth Rock, so that's precisely why Andre came in. So I thought, maybe Rob's going to think that too. So, Rock Blast it is! And poor Andre is going to take a bunch of rocks to the face. Holy shit. Unfortunately, Uncle Larry is getting on. And he didn't get that fourth hit, which was kind of needed. And for some inane reason, I switched in Blackbeak because I'm a tool. And <laughs> Blackbeak's going to take a psychic to the face. Why, Blackbeak? Why did I do this to you? We're going to go for the return. The Silk Scarf Boosted Return. And take out Andre. Andre's sad little face as he dies. That's really terrible. <laughs> and out comes Ellis. And precisely because this thing is named Ellis, I chose to stay in. Fearing Eviolite SD. I knew after one sword stance, this thing could potentially sweep my whole entire life. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so I ended up losing my Dodrio, unfortunately. But he is going to go for the knockoff, staying in on my Kling Clang. I was like, oh my god, yes, because I went for the gear grind instead of the shift gear, and I missed. So this was incredibly crucial. Ah, <sighs> that Sneasel is going to survive, and that is pretty much incredibly, incredibly bad. So we're going to go for the gear grind. Hitting poor Philip in the face. I mean, he can take it, but still, I don't want to hit Philip. I don't want to hit Ellis. I don't want to hit any of these people. Why are you doing this to me, Rob? Why? 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 Why, Rob? Why? Anyway, we're going to go into Gorgeist um, because I can take anything. I don't even I don't even care. I knock off. I don't really, whatever. Um, <laughs> and I know I can hit this thing with Rocky Helmet damage, so it's kind of okay. We're going to get hit by our Toxic, though, which sucks. It sucks a lot. And... Oh man, this is just very emotional because now Katie's gonna come out! Why? Why are you doing this to me? Fun fact that these guys, they're basically like my first subscribers, like my first ever active subscribers, so... <laughs> so these guys are pretty damn important to me. So it's kind of annoying to have to like hit them and shit, you know? I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. I wanted to burn Katie, but I burnt Philip instead. So yay me, I guess. Uh, but he does switch Philip in to take the burn. I was like, shit, guts! Um, <laughs> but I... Ah, gee, I should have just stayed in here and gone for like another synthesis or something because, and let this thing slowly die. But I switched into Uncle Larry in a panic because I knew I still had my Rocky Helmet, so this thing would take itself out by hitting me and die to the burn, hopefully. Um, but yeah, no, we're in Uncle Larry right now. We take a Giga Drain and live miraculously. Uncle Larry doing his best to try and, you know, spite me, I suppose. <laughs> But no, it was good. It was good he lived because we got the stealth rocks up. And my thinking was to just try and weaken the Sneasel by any means. Um, we're going to go into Simi Gush right now. And Simi Gush... <sighs> this is just... This was silly. This was deeply silly. I needed some prior damage on this Vile Plume first. But I didn't want to send in my Gorgeist and synthesize and toxic rack up and all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't win that matchup. So I went for the Ice Beam. This is actually a sub Salak Berry uh, Simi Pour. And I made a boo boo here because I honestly should have kept on subbing, right? Until my Salak Berry popped anyway. I should have just kept on subbing until I had no health. If only so that Katie. A greedy bitch wouldn't get a bunch of health back from Giga Train. <laughs> She's gonna give me grief for that. Katie the vile plume, not Katie the person. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into the man and go for a shift gear because I did a calc and I knew that a um, normal shift, uh, what's the word, gear grind wouldn't be enough to take out Katie. I needed it to be a bit stronger than that, but um, even a plus one crit gear grind. Is not going to be enough to take out this vile plume, and uh, even worse, the aromatherapy has gone off, which means that the bloody girder can't just burn to death. I honestly really should put sub on this thing, but I didn't want to have too much sub spam because I had a semi pour with sub too. So I, I don't know, it felt a bit weird to me. But really, should have had sub on this thing. I've got bloody wild charge instead. Why? That was just stupid. Anyway, out comes Philip, and the man is just going to get murked. 
by a mark punch. We're going to go down and cry and weep as Philip cruelly punches me in the head. Why, Philip? Why? I've been giving you videos every day for months. Why are you, why are you people hitting me so much? Why? 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 Why, Rob? Why did you do this? Why? Anyway, we're going to go for the synthesis. Um, this was kind of my last ditch effort as he does go for the knockoff and it still does a decent chunk of damage but Gorgos pretty much eats that up all things considered and um, yeah we're gonna go for the shadow sneak here to try and take out Philip and yeah no it's no no it's not gonna happen so <laughs> gonna get the second knockoff off and poor Gorgos is just dying whittling away trying to take a final stand Sal gave me this Gorgos so it's really sad that Rob is killing it the way he is why are you doing this, Rob? Why did you do this? Why did you poison Sal's Gorgeist? Why did you make me kill Sal and Philip and Katie? Um, why did... Why? Why? You're twisted. You're twisted. That's what you are. And Andre, you're twisted. So out comes Ellis, who finish off, finishes off the game, rather, with an ice shard. And down goes my Gorgeist. And that is going to be the game. A very close one eye victory in Rob's favor. But yeah... I did enjoy that match a lot. Let's get face cam back on one moment. <coughs> but yeah, that was a very good game indeed. Very, very nice and close. Rob, your Twitter link will be in the description down below if I haven't said that already. But yeah, I just had to brutally murder Katie Ellis and everybody. My God, why did you? Why? Why? That's all. That's the only question I can really ask you. Just why? Why would you do that to me? <coughs> Added to the fact that Rob has actually made it to like 2,400 or something in new ladder coil, I don't have the patience nor the skill to do that. So everyone go and challenge him if you fancy a um, a challenge. Wow, I hate saying the same word so close to it. Anyway, whatever. Thank you, Rob, for the battle. And I'm sorry that I had to beat you up, guys. It's Rob's fault. Go and blame him. Anyway, today's question of the day is, would you rather have legs for days or arms for minutes? Have a think about that. I'd rather have legs for days because I don't really know what arms for minutes even means. Plus my legs are kind of short, so it would be nice to have longer legs. That's all I have to say on the subject. Very deep and provocative thinking, I know. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.